This is lesson 9-5 about geometric series. By the end of this lesson, you should um, be able to define a geometric series and find the sum of that series. This is your formula for a geometric series. And in class, we will go through the proof of this formula. But for now, you're just going to write it down and use it so you can practice it. Along with this formula, you should also keep in mind that your formula for um, a sequence is a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1. So write this one down also if you haven't got it somewhere handy. Okay, so first thing we want to do is find the sum of this geometric series. So using our formula to find the sum we're going to take a sub 1, which is 3, times 1 minus r. r would be our common ratio. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 12 divided by 6 is 2. 24 divided by 12 is 2. So our common ratio is 2. And we need to know the number of terms. And we divide that by 1 minus r. So again, to find the number of terms, we have to use our formula for a sequence, which is a sub 1 times a sub, or a sub n equals a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1. So we're trying to find this last term, 3072. Um, how far into the sequence is it? So a sub 1 is 3. Our common ratio is 2. And we're solving for n. So first thing we'll do is divide by 3. That gives us 1,024 equals 2 to the n minus 1. And now you have to go way back in your memory banks to figure out how to eliminate the 2 here so we can isolate the n. And you may recall this comes from logarithms. If we do a log base 2 on the right side, it will cancel the 2. On the left side, you have to calculate using your change of base formula. So we're going to have n minus 1 equals change of base formula is a thousand a log of 1,024. Let me get that right. 1,024 divided by log of 2. So, so that equals 10. 10 equals n minus 1. Adding 1 to each side, we get n equals 11. So we're trying to find the sum of the 11 terms in this series. So s sub 11 equals 3 times 1 minus 2 to the 11th divided by 1 minus 2. When you're doing your calculations, exponents would come before subtraction. So we have to do 2 to the 11th first. So we get 3 times 1 minus 2 to the 11th is 2,048. In the denominator, we can do 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So 1 minus 2,048 would be negative 2,047. And we multiply that by 3, which is negative 6,141. Dividing that by negative 1 gives us a positive 6,141. Here we have summation notation, which you should be familiar with. And we want to find the sum of actually 21 terms, because at the bottom here, it says we're starting with the 0th term and going up to the 20th term. So that's actually a total of 21 terms. So we're going to find the sum of the 21 terms in the series. So using our formula, we take the first term, which will be what we get when we plug the 0 in. So 1 half to the 0 is 1. 4 times 1 is 4. So the first term is 4. Times 1 minus r. r is right there, because in your formula, it's a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1. So r is that term in parentheses. So we have 1 half, which we're going to raise to the 21st power. And then we're dividing that by 1 minus 
1 half. So if we take 1 half, raise it to the 21st power, um, that gives us a crazy decimal in scientific notation. So um, you could put this all in your calculator for parentheses 1 minus parentheses 1 half to the 21st and let your calculator do the work. And this comes out to 8.